Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm finally back on filming after my two week vacation to Spain. Ow! Anyways, um, it was really nice. I really liked it. The weather, the weather was great. The like, attractions was great. So, except for one. I really didn't know there was like a time limit. But we could, after that, we, I just couldn't get a refund of it. So, okay. Um, but, um, yeah, it was still fun. I still had fun. I would definitely go back again. But, um, anyways, I thought we would do a book shopping, which I have not done in a while. So, it'll be exciting. But, um, yeah, let's just get shopping. Okay, guys. I am in chapters. I didn't want to get some of films. I don't even get a basket. Him and so I need one. I kind of want one pillar. See if I can go because there's anything else. I don't know. But for my nephew, it's a motivation because, like, here we go. The search party actually sounds really good. This one, I don't know yet. It is twenty percent off, so I am looking for Shanghai and Moto. I know it's not. Oh. Found it. This entire show from Same Dream Mouse. Unbelievable. Yeah, I have like a hate relationship with Same Dream Mouse. I'm sorry. I just don't find her good. I wanted to read this, but then I found out that the author actually sends her followers to attack people. 
attack, <laughs> you know. To, if summon games like one sword, like that's so stupid. It just shows you how immature you are. Some people just don't need to be authors. I'm sorry, but they don't. But anyways, I know what this. Yeah, yeah, I might get this too. I've been meaning to get the Desert Prince, but I don't know. Maybe. I do want that Tempest T. I believe she starts with an F, the author. Shoot, what was her name? What? Unless she starts with an H. Ah, oh, can't remember. Did you and Tata agree on what to do tomorrow? Soon. Ready to find it again? Find what? Oh. How's the six copies? Can I mean three here and three? Oh, I have three. No. I think I'm done. Oh, hi, Shush. Yeah, but I don't think I've ever read the finale. Hmm. And you have no little money. Didn't you know? They made it into a move, um, novel. Okay. I think I'm done. I'm getting all this. So I think I'm done. I got my tempest of tea. So I think I'm done, yeah. So I'll see you guys at home for book haul. Okay, you guys. So I'm back from childhood. I got a pretty good book haul. I'm probably not going to buy any more books after this one. I just want to finish what I have. So... Let's see what we got. So my first one, I I think I talked about this one quite a lot, but it is A Lantern to the Limited Steep by Asylvia so, so Cathwell. So E is content with the solitary life in an extraordinary underwater home until the discovery of a strange, beautiful creature outside her window prompts her to begin a correspondence with a renowned scholar, Henry Cleo. The letters they share are filled with passion at first for the mutual interest and then invariably for each other. But when the mysterious sea creek destroys E's home, she and Henry vanish. So I feel like this is a little mermaid detail. That's the feeling I get, but either way, it sounds really cool. I look at the format. It has like the, you know, the letter. So. I'm excited for this one. My next book is uh, Song of the Six Realms by Judy Eileen. I got this for $20, which I'm excited about. Yeah, I would take $20 over $27 any day. So, seven bucks saved, y'all. Zuzu, a talented young musician, has no past and probably no future. Often at a young age, she was taken in by her kindly poet uncle, who arranged for an unpentished ship for one of the most esteemed entertainment houses in the kingdom. She doesn't remember much from her before entering the house of flowing water, and when her uncle is suddenly killed in a bandit attack, she is devastated to lose her last connection to her life outside of her indentured contract. That sounds promising. Like, but yeah. And the cover is really pretty too. So again, one of the books I talked about most is Shanghai Immortals by A. Y. Xiao. I finally picked this up. I don't know why it took so long, but... Pawned by her mother to the King of Hell as a child, Lady Jing is half vampire, half holding fox spirit, and all sassel. As the king's ward, she has spent the past 90 years running and dodging the taunts of the spiteful Huel King 
20 years and trying to control her explosive temper with varying levels of success. So when Jane overhears the courtiers plotting to steal a priceless dragon pearl from the king, she seizes her chance to expose them once and for all. And I hope she exposes them. <laughs> so another book I really wanted to read was A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Fazil. Why save the world when you can have some tea? Why indeed? <laughs> On the streets of White Roaring, Arthur Casimir is a criminal mastermind and collector of secrets. Her prestigious team room transforms into an illegal bloodhouse by night, catering to the vampires feared by society. But when her establishment is threatened, Arthur is forced to strike an unlikely deal with an alluring an adversary to save it, and she can't do the job alone. So, I kinda hear some mixed reviews. like. I see people like say it's a bit too slow at the beginning, so I'm hoping that's not the case for me, but the reviews are often right, so we shall see. Okay, so since Father's Day is coming up soon in June, I actually don't know what to get my parents anymore, especially for their birthdays. Like every time I ask them like what do you want for your birthdays, they always say we don't want nothing. I'm like, Are you sure? Why do parents say we don't want nothing? Like come on. You have to have something at least, no? But if you're a parent, let me know com in the comments below what you guys want for your birthdays, for Mother, Father's Day, Anniversary. I really don't know what to get my parents anymore, so... But, knowing my dad, I do know what he likes. He likes Garfield and Sherlock Holmes, Pirates of the Caribbean, all that fun stuff, so... He also really liked Avatar, which is surprising because we never go to the movie theaters as family. So the what second time actually, the first time my dad and I we went to watch Avatar 1 when it came out. And my dad and I we also went to watch Pirates of the Caribbean, the last one, the fourth one I think it was. Then Men Tell No Tales, something like that. So yeah, it was really nice. So yeah, but for Father's Day, I got him Garfield. As I said, he really likes Garfield, so why not? But yeah, he also likes golf, but you know, something fun. It's like a comic kind of thing, so yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> so that's what I got him for Father's Day, but um, yeah, I hope he likes it. <laughs> And my last one, which is a thriller one, it is The Search Party by Hannah Michelle. Max and Annie Kingsley have left a London rat race with the 12-year-old son to set up a glamping site in the wilds of Cornwall. Eager for a drive on the head of the opening, they invite three old university friends and their families for a much needed reunion. But the festivities soon go out wild, a stench mount between the children and subsequently their parents. Explosive secrets come to light and a sudden storm moves in, cutting them off from help as on as one in the group disappears. Ooh. So I'm in the mood for thrillers and I thought it would be fun to read for this one. So and that's my book haul. I think it's you know, a pretty nice book haul, some damage has been done to my wallet. But that's okay, that's why I have a, an actual working job. Yay! But anyways <laughs> Uh, and so if you like this, please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!